Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 79 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And look at the moon, it's so close, it's so scary, it's all right up in my face. Get your face out of my place, you big moon's ass. Anyways, so in this cycle, well, <laughs> pretty much right away here, we are going to be taking on the Skull Kid, hopefully, because we've defeated all four of the bosses of all four temples. And we've made everyone as happy as we possibly can. You know, Anjuk Fei, the postman, all the Deku scrubs, all the... Th those two girls dancing in West Clocktown, Kamaro, um... Captain Kida, everyone, um... I'm trying to think of other people, the Garrow Master... Well, not the Garrow, we killed him, stupid. <laughs> um... Well, you know just all those people, the Deku Princess, the Deku King, the monkeys... Uh, the Indiegogos, we made everyone all so happy. But it's all for naught if we can't stop this moon from crashing into Termina. So, as the clock tower door opens, I wonder... Is this the last time I'm going to record Majora's Mask? And yes, I know it is. And I've just been delaying it for so long. Sorry I didn't post like a video for yesterday or whatever. Wait, why am I here? I was just, I was just over on the tower. Well, whatever. Oh my god, the moon! Yeah, sorry I didn't post a video yesterday. I was just... I just didn't want to record this because I know it's so close to the end and that the moment I start recording is the last time I get to start the recording for Majora's Mask. And it's so very sad. Anyways, you can look up there. I really don't see anything except eternal darkness that awaits us. But we've got to face it, so here we go. Taking off the bunny hood because that would increase decrease the dramat the dramacity of this situation a lot. Sis! Tail. Any deja vu, anyone? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Yeah, we already did that. Come on. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. <sighs> Man, that's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Yeah, that's right, because we just defeated all the four freaking things. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hehe. <laughs> all want to bet? Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it! Oh, here he goes. With his big kahuna move. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm not scared of you anymore, Moon. You know what? You know what I say to you? Moon and Skull Kid. Thank you. And good night. Oh, that's right. You know, I just went there. I just played the Oath to Horror! Oh man. So much violent shaking. What's going on? Yeah, you're in trouble now, aren't you? What of it? You didn't expect this to happen, did you? Oh, I, I could have sworn I just heard the giants like, oh! I heard that in the background just like a tiny bit there. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh my goodness. It's like he's actually in pain from that song. That's kind of scary. I guess it makes sense, though. It brings back memories of, like, his old friends that left him. And out in Termina, all the debris that are just flying up to the moon for this gravitational pull. It's so scary. Oh, man. <gasps> it's the... It's the Swamp God. This is such an amazing scene. And the mountain god. He's running towards a mountain off in the distance. That's kind of ironic. Oh my goodness, the ocean god. Yeah. Jeez, the temple that led to you was long enough, wasn't it? Oh, and so was the temple that led to this guy. The mountain god. Dude, I was... No, wait, this is the canyon god. Duh. Whoa. Extreme dramatic close-up on his face. That was so awesome. And they're here. What are they going to do? Do they have enough power to take on the moon? Well, they better. Because they're our only hope now. Oh. Oh my god, they're going to hold it up with their arms? Just their arms? Oh my god. How amazing is that? Just look at them. Oh, they're going full force, They're just, but they're still trembling, just even with the four of them. The moon is just so powerful. 
is so much power to hold down. <gasps> or to hold up. What? The moon, it stopped. They're just frozen there. Wow. Isn't that scary? Oh my god, they actually stopped it. Why, why is the moon looking outwards there? Looking out at the sunset like, Damn it! They stopped me! It... It stopped. Now it's looking down again. We did it! It stopped! So, so Reunited and it feels so good! Oh man. Good. We made it in time. The giant's call worked on the Skull Kid. Hey Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis, don't don't be so hard on the skull kid. Taya, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? <laughs> you only hit her once, or hit hit him once. He was lonely, the skull kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That's not the same that's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the skull kid to handle. Jeez, my voice makes it sound like two little like lispy kids talking to each other. This cause doesn't. This, this cause he doesn't know his own place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly, he had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Wait, who said that? Was that the moon? Uh oh. It's not over yet. You thought we were done with this LP? Think again. We're still missing one heart container. How can we be done? A puppet that can no longer be used is mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. And the mask itself is alive. It, it can't be. Then that moon. Oh no. The moon. What? It's sucking him up. With his raspy tongue of gas. <gasps> the moon's mouth, it's open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. No, don't. No! We just went to so much trouble, and now the moon, it just gained more power from Majora's Mask. <gasps> oh, they're moving again. Ah, this isn't good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hurry, the Song of Time. The Song of Time! No! No, we've come too far. We can't turn back now. Link's just like, I know what I've got to do. And he's gonna go ahead and just run up there, charging, screaming. I'll go. What? What did Lucy entail? Is something wrong with you? Nope. Come on, Tattle. I don't always want to be running away. If only I had been stronger, then the Skull Kid wouldn't have. Nah. Have twin telepathy here, I assume. I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've really gotten stubborn. Just like someone else I know. Hey! <laughs> oh, there's no time to be mocking Cafe Tattle. And up we go. Whoa ho ho! So violently pulling us towards the moon. But what's gonna be on the moon? I can only imagine. What? What? Huh? The grass is always greener on the other side of the moon? This is ridiculous. It's like Nirvana. There's a sun inside the moon. It's a tree of life. What's going on? <laughs> Did anyone really expect the moon to look like this? Jeez, I swear, the first time I saw this, I was just like, what the balls? What the balls? I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to symbolize, but it's cool. I'm glad they didn't make like, the moon all murky and depressing. Because th this is just like a complete contrast to the rest of the game. You can finally look up without seeing the moon in the sky at all. Anywhere, no moon. Because we are in the moon. It was just a slight motion blur, I never really noticed that. And there's still earthquakes like we're outside the... Ooh, butterflies. How do butterflies survive inside the moon? I don't know. How does anything survive inside the moon like this giant tree? Alright. Oh, by the way, I highly recommend uh, picking up your Chateau Romani before heading to the moon here. As you see, I've already done that. Wait, who are you? Wait. Hey, hey come back. Oh, well. Uh, let's just run up. Ooh, it's Odalwa, I think. Ah. Uh. Nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too, will you become a mask salesman? This is really creepy. 
So the masks give me some. What? You want me to give me your, give you my masks? But it's Odol. I can't give him my masks. I, I beat his ass down. Well, I guess we don't really have much of a choice here. Um, I kind of want to do this, like, give him the most important to least important, but I don't know how I really qualify important. I guess, like, just the ones that have the best stories behind them, I think. I really that's because of no story behind it, so I'll just give that to you. Have fun being giant Adolwa. Oh my god, could you imagine Adol wearing a giant's mask? How big that would be. Or even worse, Twin Mold wearing a giant's mask. That would be scary. Alright, and we get teleported to... What's this? Oh, it's the Clock Town minigame, but ramped up into a bigger room. You can take this like little warp back here if you want to leave, but why would you want to leave? Why would you want to leave the awesome tribal music of Woodfall Temple? Anyways, yeah. So basically there's... I didn't really show it too well, but there's like four guys running around that tree. Each one symbolizing uh, the four different bosses. And when you talk to one of them, then it'll take you to an area like this that has something to do with their temple. And then you just kind of have to traverse through it. And try to make it to the end, where... What will happen? We don't really know. Uh-oh. Dive in! Dive in! Dude! I'm on top of the spike! <laughs> wow. What's going on? Oh no. <laughs> that was extremely violent, and I was just like talking very monotonously. Just like, oh no. What's going on? Hello. How are you doing? I can't let you do that, Dave. Okay. Yeah, basically this is just like pretty. M this is actually probably easier than the Clock Town mini game where you have to shoot the flowers, in my opinion, anyways. The only really hard part is right here. If you like miss the flower, then you'll get knocked off by the spikes like you just saw me do. Oh, dude, I cannot make that. I cannot make that. I cannot make that. I really can't. Oh. Oh man. I shouldn't be having troubles with this one, of all things. Jeez, I fell twice and I only took a quarter hard damage. That's the silliest thing ever. Each hit only- each fall only does eight, an eighth of a heart of damage? Is that what you're telling me? No, whoa! That was scary. Almost just hopped right off there. Oh yeah, and you can see that there's some like gossip stones kind of spread around here. If you want, you can actually go up to those and use the Mask of Truth. And each gossip stone will tell you a location of a mask in the game. But we've already gotten all the masks in the game, so I don't think I really need to do that. It's not very interesting, it's basically just like telling you how to get each mask. Ooh, a heart piece. On the moon? That's right. Our four remaining heart pieces are on the moon, of all places. It's amazing. Did you ever think, like, I never thought when I first played this game that, of all places, to get your final heart container, it would be pretty much in the final area, like right before the final boss almost. It's kind of cool, like how they did that. Uh oh, dive in, dive in, damn it! Oh my god, <laughs> that was way too close for comfort. And shoot way the heck up here, past all the trees. Man, it makes me wonder like what kind of realm we're in. Like, are we still on the moon right now, or did we teleport to somewhere else that, like, completely outside of Termina even? By the way, this room, I never really took, took like a chance to like take. Oh, <laughs> hello. Get your face out of my place. Oh, wait, I already used that. Oh, never mind. In this video. <laughs> well, maybe in this video. I don't know. But yeah, this place is kind of weird. It's like a children's playroom with all this cloud wallpaper. But then there's these things, and it's like... <laughs> oh, and it's shaking. You're trying to be intimidating? Well, you can't intimidate me, sucker. But this guy can. He's, But he's not intimidating because he's like big and scary. He's just intimidating because he's creepy. He's like the mask salesman, except like a child. Okay. Hey, I want more masks. What? Alright, fine. Wait, what happens if you try to give him a transformation mask? Let's see. Not that! Hurry, put it away. <laughs> okay. It's not like I pulled, my, pulled out my dick in front of you. What? You had to be, like, just so angry about it. Okay, um... Jeez. Let's get rid of Kamaro's mask. I don't really care. Never really liked Kamaro too much. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask a question? Why do they keep pausing in the middle of the sentences? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Well, I'd sure like to hope so. Because I think of my subscribers as my friends, and I certainly hope that's true for them too. 
that they think of me as a friend. And I hope my real life friends think of me as a friend too, otherwise, I've been living a lie! I've been living a lie! But I think I'm okay. 